Want to see something cool? All my old school AVO friends represent because this isn't the 9 volt battery most of you thought it was at first. It's a 22 and a half volt battery called the 412A. And you could have gone your whole life without spotting one if it wasn't for this video. They're as hard to find as a date at Michigan Tech. This is going to be one of those videos you use to win bets because words mean things and almost everybody gets this wrong. Besides, you wouldn't have subscribed to this channel if you didn't appreciate big swinging brains with a side of sarcastic snark from a stochastic engineer. This is a AA alkaline cell. It makes about 1.59 volts when a virgin, dropping to just under a volt when we consider it clapped down. Thing is, those numbers are exactly the same for this girthy D cell, this double A, triple A, and even this little pinner quad A. The specific numbers depend on the purity of the manganese dioxide, the amount of zinc oxide in the electrolyte, the temperature, how important that piece of gear is at that moment, and just how far away the nearest hardware store is. But the chemical reaction for them is all the same. Chemistry hockey, yo. But what's the difference between all these cells over here and this pile of batteries over here? Look at the voltages. 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, but over here we have 6, 9, and 22.5. That's because each of these is a single cell. They're all the same, just different sizes. But each of these is actually a collection of smaller cells. We call that collection a battery of cells. That's why the voltages are all multiples of 1.5. This 9 volt is actually a battery of half a dozen quad A cells. This 6 volt is actually a collection of four oddball cells, which I'm designating as double Ds. Check that naked carbon anode, yo. And this 22.5 volt is 15 tiny little 1.5 volt cells packed in there tighter than a nun's nasty. These are cells. This is a battery of cells. So is this a cell block? Now you know the difference, and that's pretty cool.